Yo, what's up guys? Um, today we'll be looking at how to install Windows Server on DigitalOcean and yeah, so first let's get started and uh, we start by creating a droplet alright, so let's load up and then start creating up droplet so I'll choose the San Francisco region you know, and then uh, we are going to go with the Ubuntu and uh, what we're going to do next is to select a CPU, right? So let's see what how it goes. We go with this, and then uh, we select this one. So this one for two. So let's go with this. Let me check some. Okay, two. Okay, that's Intel two gigabyte CPU. Uh, AMD. AMD. Uh, I'd, I'd rather go for this one and then uh, let me see this one. Okay, CPU. Alright, so you're gonna go for this CPU. You get me regular Intel. Show me. So once we choose the CPU, you need to create a password and th this password no we won't be using it but anyway because i will be installing uh, windows on it so yeah and then i'll give you a name windows and then i'll do like 8 gig 8 gb right and then uh yeah so we'll go about it like that. Okay, let's give it a name when Windows. After that, select any region. Yeah, so let's you no know, recheck all this again before you know moving forward. So after creating the the droplets, you need to create the droplets. Then uh, after that. that you can select any CPU. This is your choice. Yeah. Okay, I feel like um, I should go for this CPU, um, the Intel. And password. This password is of no use. And uh, I'll go for because this. We will install Windows Server. Its password will be different. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's create create up the droplet. Step by step video has been made, so don't skip the video. All right, so droplet is now initializing, and uh, once it's done, we'll move to the next page. You know, next step. I mean, yeah. Droplet has been created. Click on recovery. So I think uh, we need to wait for these to, you know, in initialize and uh, we'll get something else going. So let me put this on pause. All right, so the droplet has been created. All right, so let's move to the next page. I click here and uh, what we're going to do next is to go to recovery access, right? And then uh, we need to turn this off, and then we we'll boot from. We're going to boot from recovery I, I, ISO. You get me? So let's do that real quick. We turn this off, and then uh, we turn this off, and then we boot from here. Let's turn on the button. We boot from here and now we turn on the button. Now we click on access. Then click on recovery console. Okay, so we go to access. And then I will go to recovery console. Six 
and press enter. After that we will copy this URL and paste it in the console. All right. Um is doing this thing so he said what well, from one to six so we, we click on six right that's six we pull in six and then you copy a console which i have on uh, my one drive you know um right here so i'm going to go for this one Windows 10 LTSC and then uh, I'm gonna copy all this yeah copy this real quick and then uh make sure I come over here and then I paste this in okay well, once that's in we move to the next section no i just have to hit enter you know hit enter we start downloading it okay it didn't download SDK, so let me try another one. Let me try another one. Uh, 2022. Okay, so let me go with this. Okay, so this this is downloading, so this will take about like um uh let me give it like ten minutes for it to do its work because it's about like six gigabytes, right? So I'll put the video on pause once the uh, installation is done, I'll continue to play. Alright. Okay, so work is done. Let's close this terminal. Um, all right, so we close this terminal. Once we close the terminal, we need to. Uh, okay, so we're going to turn it off and then we boot from. Mobile boot from hard drive, feel me. So we do that. Okay, so we turn this off, and then we are going to boot from hard drive. Now we've got this, uh, we turn it on, and once we get that turned on, we go to access. So let's wait for this to turn on first. Uh, okay, so right now it's on, we go to access, and then I will go down here, re recovery console, right? And then I will click on it. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so we have our windows running, but for now we need to set the internet, right? Make sure that the internet is going to work. So we'll be able to, you know, connect to the internet. For now, it's offline, as you can see. So we need to, you know, make sure it's live online working so I need to um, take the password and 
take the password, copy the password and paste it in. Okay. Okay, so I'm almost in. Let me put this on pause. Yeah, so from here, we need to point to the so let's do this real quick. Um, NCPA. All right. So let's go to command prompt real quick. I hate this thing. Ah, I hate this. So we go around command NCPA dot C. All right, NCPA. That's CPL. All right. So once we've got, we get here. Here's where it gets, you know, exciting because uh, we need to fix our internet access for this particular window. So we click on that, and then uh, we get. On the properties menu, uh, what the fuck? This thing is running slow right now. Let me pause this video right, and then I make sure I check this thing out. Uh... All right, let me fix this, and then uh, I'll get back to the video again. Let me see. Okay, so right under the network connection, you need to configure your IP and then uh, net max. You get me? So I just did that, and uh, yeah. So what I need to do next is to, you know. Okay, I'll pull this up a little bit. And yeah, so we need to click on OK. But wait, let me just pause one more time. OK, so right, uh, I just finished configuring this. So over here, we just click on this OK. Close this and let's see if uh yeah we have our antenna working now as you can see okay good yes do you want allow so let's check it okay boom we've got internet working so let me close this right now this i'm closing this at the moment um, okay so I'll close this and then we are going to connect to the main rdp account so yeah this is how we do it. So I'm already in the RDP. So I need to start another RDP. So let me close this, right? I'll close this. But before I close this, I need to copy this IP address because it's very important. Um, now I'll paste it here or any of my notes, you know. Okay, I have it here, and then a uh, password, you know, that mean, and I'm going to log in. So I'll pause this and I'll log in so you can see. All right, wait, so as you can see, we're about to log into the ODP we just created, and uh, let's do this connecting. I 
and yeah I'll be changing the password so you know <laughs> this is just you know to show you how to you know create Windows RDP on uh, digital ocean server and boom we like we are in you know we've got our Windows server working you know it's connecting right now and yeah welcome we've got it yeah so we've got a new RDP for ourselves and yeah that's how we get RDPs made you know so see you guys later man